people with house plants live longer. <laughs> guys so Dusty and I are working from home together today so we thought it would be the perfect opportunity to shoot a vegan family style what I eat in a day video so to start off 32 ounces of warm water and no surprises there gonna get in a quick morning workout and then we are off for the day we're actually gonna head up to Omaha and grab some new plants for our house which is a highly requested video topic a lot of you have been asking where do we get our plants what are they called how do we get them to grow so massive in our home? So we're gonna give you guys a little home plant tour, maybe give you an update on our garden and take you along for a what I eat in a day video. So I'm kind of experimenting right now between fasted workouts and fueled workouts. And it's a lot easier to do a fasted workout if it's first thing in the morning, but sometimes, especially while breastfeeding, I'm still pretty hungry. So I will fuel up with just a couple of bananas can have a banana, get in my workout, and then have a real meal. Are you just waking up? Good morning. Good morning, you guys. It is a garage workout day for me. Gonna do some lifting, maybe a little treadmill to warm up. Mr. Max is hanging out with Papa. Can you give us a smile? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get after it. Only thing that changing is the time. Everything will fall along. Be patient with the grind. Cause we gon' shine. Be patient with us. It is green juice time, a little post workout green juice and a smoothie bowl, and then we're gonna hit the road. You guys have heard me talk about heartburn, acid reflux, things like that that I struggled with with my gut in the past, and these green juices make me feel so much better. They just cool the reflux, all of that, that indigestion and stuff that I can tend to get from time to time. Green juice really handles it. That being said, we usually only have it like once or twice a week, just because it, it seems a little bit like a waste to me. We usually like to blend so we get that fiber. But anyway, once in a while we do enjoy an epic green juice. It's good for your health. You guys have seen me put in a big chunk of turmeric, a big chunk of ginger. The whole lemon with the peel goes in. This juicer can handle it. Keep it going. Okay, so the ginger turmeric shot is something we started doing as a little added zing bonus shot. So anyway, I'm not a spicy guy, never have been, but <coughs> that will light you up. And the green juice should cool you down. Hubs made a green juice. It's gonna be a good day. All right, you guys, gonna have a quick banana because breastfeeding, pumping, seriously takes it out of ya. I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl for both of us and we are all gonna hit the road. All right, so I made our bubblegum smoothie bowl. This one is linked below in the description. It's a super good one to satisfy your sweet tooth without refined sugars. It's also got some protein in it. I added some hemp, cacao, and some coconut on top. So I'm gonna eat this and hopefully we can get out the door <laughs> in a timely fashion. Papa, we're there. We are at our first nursery stop. This is Lanaha in Omaha. And somehow I'm now in the passenger seat up front. <laughs> Erin is like behind me catty corner, sitting in the shade. She's gonna feed Max quick. Probably gonna change his diaper. Everything takes probably three times as long when you've got a baby. I feel like we've already been here for like an hour and we haven't even gone inside, so. Anyway, we're here, we're gonna show you guys some cool plants, maybe talk a little bit about plants, and show you how we live this tropical life 
in the Midwest. He's got a little bit of bed head going on because he slept so hard. Kind of feel like I want to be like a mama cat or a cow and just kind of give him a little lick. <laughs> okay, so digging into our little picnic basket, we have leftovers. These are last year's veggie burgers we did on the YouTube. We'll link it below. Leftover, we made them the other day. Super, super good. Behind me, there's Bougainvillea right there. When we were in Positano, they were everywhere and they're so, so pretty. This is a perfect photo op. If you don't know already, greenhouses are a perfect place to get some really cool photos, so that's what we're gonna do now. So this is the Monstera plant. The Monstera plant is actually what my tattoo is. So a lot of people ask about the meaning behind my tattoos, and this one is a Monstera plant. Monstera actually means mystery. So anyway, I thought it would be a cool tattoo. It's a beautiful plant, and we might actually get one. We'll see. And you are pretty mysterious. Oh yes, a very man mysterious. Of many mysteries. So we do have a fiddle leaf fig at home, but this is an actual fruiting fig. So it's got little tiny fruits on it. Yet again, another plant that we saw everywhere in Italy. If you go back and watch our Italy travel vlogs, you will love them. Go check those out, they're linked below. But someday, Dusty and I plan to either live somewhere like that or at least have a greenhouse. But for now, fiddle leaves. Let's go check those out. Okay guys, so Aaron showed you the fruiting fig tree. These are what we have at home, and they are fiddle leaf figs. They're a more decorative tree. We love these things. They're actually pretty affordable. These are all over Instagram, all over Pinterest. We know you guys have seen them. So the fiddle leaf fig, perfect house plant. Okay guys, so this is called mother-in-law's tongue. We like to call them lady fingers. I'm not sure why, but we love them. We have these all over the house and we need a couple more. So I think we're gonna grab a couple of these guys. We call them lady fingers because we like our mother-in-laws. They don't have harsh tongues. Right. Is that pretty? <laughs> So something that we're really conscious of and we try super hard to do, especially as Midwesterners being landlocked, is we try to create this atmosphere of like lush tropical vibes in our home, around our home. It's especially easy in the summertime, but you can do a lot with just the plants that you have within your home. It's so healthy for your mood. It's great for your respiratory system. It's something to take care of. It gives you a sense of purpose. So, I mean, whether it's a dog, a baby, even just a plant. People with house plants live longer. <laughs> we were walking out and we saw this beautiful trellis with these vines growing on it. We have a pergola on the side of our house and we thought how perfect if we could grow these on it. So we talked to one of the nursery workers here and he said they are called clematis. So we bought some and wisteria. they're gorgeous. Oh, these ones are actually wisteria, Dusty said. Kind of reminds us again of Positano of Italy. These are wisteria, so they're super affordable and they grow 20 to 50 feet in a season, the guy said. So we're gonna plant these on our pergola. First year they sleep, second year they creep, and then they take off. So a couple years, we should be good to go. All right, you guys, so Dusty is in back securing the plants. We are on to our next location. Meanwhile, gonna grab some lunch that we brought with. So I've got a bunch of mixed berries and bananas in this cooler bag. We got some leftover uh, split pea stew that we found and made on the Forks Over Knives app. Dusty already had his veggie burger. Might stop by Chipotle for him, but hopefully the fruit will hold me over. Rotel 4, baby. <laughs> but I dropped the ball and I forgot to bring utensils to eat. Always arm yourself with weapons of mass nutrition, especially the kinds that come pre-packaged, nature's way, and don't require any utensils. So we're gonna snack on bananas, find some silverware, Head to our next stop. Look how good this looks. Bananas, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. This is probably about 400, 300 calories worth of berries in my belly. What you talking about? I love you. Finally got the tree and everything loaded. I think we're good to go. Hopefully the leaves aren't gone by the time we get home. Anyway, I am starving, so I had to stop and get some Chipotle. Now Aaron is our designated driver. Chicks and chicks. I got a salad with brown rice, black bean, sofritas, a side of guac, of course. Chipotle is probably one of the only places you can find that's everywhere that you can get some decent vegan food, so 
don't hate on the Chipotle. Sometimes it's your only option. Last stop, our second favorite nursery in the state. We're at our second location. We are now at Mole Halls. In case you guys were curious, these are 100% recycled cotton eco bags from ecobags.com. The reason I'm telling you is because we just got brand new ones screen printed from Joe at Little Mountain Print Shop in Lincoln. So if you're local, check him out. But we have these back in stock on our website. We've got the Go Green tote. There's also a Nurture Nature tote and an Eat Plants tote. You can get all three or pick your favorite. So we bring these everywhere with us. I usually stash them under the back car seat in my car and we bring them to the farmer's market, the grocery store, basically anywhere that they're gonna hand you a plastic bag if you buy something. So these are always with us and I've been doubling them as like a purse slash baby bag because you can never have a bag too big when you have a baby. <laughs> so you can use them for anything and everything. And like I said, they're from ecobags.com and I love that these are recycled cotton. So they are great for the environment and they're recycled. Check them out. If you guys like them, give this video a thumbs up. Probably also seen our French market bags and wondered where we've gotten those. We use those for all of our on the go meals. You can also find those on ecobags.com. Super inexpensive and they last a lifetime. These are canna lilies. Super pretty, super tropical. We like to plant these all over. And this here is a banana plant. So I'm not sure if we'll actually get bananas, but it's pretty nonetheless. This one is actually gonna go outside. Dusty is loading up the rest of our plants. Mr. Max fell asleep. I just got a call from my cousin who was my best friend growing up. He just told Woo! us she's expecting a baby boy. We're super pumped about the news, especially- Lots and lots of boys. Especially excited for Alyssa and Raj. We will be able to get together with them and Max can have a best friend. I'm super hungry. Glad that I packed the rest of this leftover split pea stew. So this was a recipe I found on the Forks Over Knives app last night. Dusty loved it. I loved it. We will link it below. Unloading all of our precious finds. By the way, look at this. This was our love tree. This is a Japanese maple. So we bought this when? At our oh, apartment? Man. About five and a half, almost six years ago now, we planted this bad boy here and it has taken off. Love this thing. This fiddle leaf fig was our anniversary plant gift to ourselves. And it's so, so pretty. Okay guys, we made it home. Now it's dinner time. It seems like we've eaten a ton all day but that's how we roll. I think we're gonna make this sweet potato black bean taco medley that we've been making. Kind of a new recipe, but we seriously love it. In fact, we made it at one of our dinners, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So if you guys wanna see it as a dedicated video in and of its own, give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. And you guys know that we're kind of mixed on kombucha, but we're gonna have some tonight, just kind of for fun. This recipe, calls for three sweet potatoes, one head of cauliflower, and a cup or two of black beans. Now we soaked, rinsed, and cooked these in the Instant Pot a couple nights ago, so that's gonna make it easy. Basically, you chop it all, spice it up, throw it in the oven, and you're good to go. We're gonna put this in the oven at 425, cook it up, and chow. I'm gonna do like a mango pineapple salsa with cilantro. Probably saute the bell peppers. Hello, baby. So we've got a pineapple and mango cilantro salsa with lime in it. We've got our cashew cheese dip. We have that, we'll link it below. We've got some guacamole, sweet corn, cabbage, lime, green onion, more cilantro, and Dusty worked his magic with our sweet potato cauliflower black bean. I sauteed up some white button mushrooms with cherry tomatoes and red onion and a little bit, or red pepper and a little bit of salt and pepper and this stuff, which is super delicious. Fresh Jack's Smoky Southwest Grill Seasoning. We will link below. You guys can get 15% off with our Link, this stuff is epic. They have so many good spices. Chipotle and sweet potato tacos at home. This is like a top two food day for me. Say bye. Fast forward next day, we are gonna show you guys our house plants because so many of you have been asking. So right here is our fiddle leaf fig that literally is about to shoot through the roof. Then over here, this is actually the one that we get the most questions about other than that one, is this giant palm. It might be a, a type of bird of paradise. Dusty bought it at Home Depot, no joke. When he bought it, it was maybe this high. It was a much smaller plant. 
and it just absolutely loves it. Your best bet is to water regularly, not to overwater. Make sure they have proper drainage and also to keep your plants in a room with morning sunlight or with adequate sunlight sometime throughout the day. If you're in the northern hemisphere like us, then south facing windows are going to be ideal. Honestly, we only have a couple. They're in Max's bedroom. Everything else is on the other sides of the house. But as long as you're getting adequate morning sunlight, that's probably gonna make your plants the happiest. But you kind of just have to trial and error it. So this is the fiddle leaf fig that we just bought yesterday. We're gonna maybe put that one either up in our bedroom or in our basement. These ones I found all at Trader Joe's. This was actually one that I had fun planting last summer. And I had it outside and brought it inside when the weather got cold and it has been thriving indoors. I bought more little tiny succulents over here, again from Trader Joe's. And these things last a lifetime, they need very little TLC. What I mean by that is you don't have to water them very often at all. I actually have just a little spray bottle I'll show you guys and I just go around and I mist all of the succulents once a week along with all the other plants. This is a mother-in-law's tongue or a lady fingers as we call them. And this one probably gets the least sunlight in the house, but it's doing amazingly well. So this plant was another Home Depot rescue. It was on its last leg, but I thought it was so cute and it was much smaller and it, a lot of its leaves were yellowing and dropping off and it is just thriving now. So I really love this one. Again, minimal water. Now we're in our bedroom and this happens to be an example of a plant that is not doing so hot. So typically if you're getting yellow or brown leaves like we are here, it actually means too much water. So we're actually gonna repot this, put it in a little bit bigger pot with some fresh soil, and I think we're gonna move it to the basement. So this should hopefully help this one to come back and be a little bit healthier. Over here next to my side of the bed, we have another mother-in-law's tongue. This thing was, I don't know what, Aaron, like six inches tall when we got it. Mm -hmm. And now it's like two and a half feet tall. We seriously love it. And again, super easy. It just needs some, some sunlight. Even where we live, even in the winter, all of our houseplants do amazing. Okay, so again, this might've been another Home Depot or like Lowe's rescue as Aaron would say. This did not look very hot last year when we brought it home. It had maybe two leaves. Final tips for houseplants, you guys. Adequate drainage. Make sure your pots have holes and you have some kind of saucer so you don't flood your living room, right? But you want adequate drainage. Don't water too much. Don't water too little. I would actually cost, caution on the side of less water, okay? You can always add more, but if you overwater, you're gonna kill your plants faster. So anyway, adequate sunlight, just the, the right amount of water, adequate drainage, and you guys are gonna have awesome house plants. Stepping just outside, we used to have these big massive trees here that we loved when we bought the house, but they all died, had to cut them down, and so we planted these aspens, which are beautiful, these grasses, these blue spruce, I built this fireplace and this pergola, and we've really turned this into like a really comfortable little outdoor space. Trees are cheap, it's good exercise, it's good for the environment. Don't be afraid to plant plants outside and bring them inside to your home. Leftovers. We are gonna cram some leftovers, and I'm gonna hit again with this Fresh Jacks. They, this company just sent us this stuff, and we love all of them. So anyway, look up Fresh Jacks. We've got a coupon code for you in the description below. Anyway, if you guys want this recipe in its full version, detailed version, let us know in the comments below. We are about to cram. So if you guys like this family style what I eat in a day video and learning a little bit more about our house plants and beautiful tropical plants in general, trust me, you can live a tropical lifestyle anywhere, not just Hawaii, not just California, not just Florida. Yes, right here in Nebraska. <laughs> Hopefully this inspired you a little bit. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. That really helps our channel out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our Eat, Move, Rest fam. Leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what your favorite plant was. If you guys want to see some of our outdoor landscaping. And as always, share this with family and friends. Until next time, eat plants, plant plants, love plants, eat, move, rest your best. Bye guys. <laughs>